with my friend It's so good to be here in Raleigh with you With my friend I'd like to take a minute here to uh, introduce you to my friends up here making up the band. Over here to uh, my extreme right. On the acoustic guitar, the electric guitar, and since he's been in this band, the mandolin. You may have uh, first seen him playing in a bluegrass band called New Town or shaking things up with the Wooks. You could have ran into me and him playing an acoustic gig in Lexington at some time or another at Al's Bar or Green Lantern. A little place outside of Lexington, Kentucky, with an accent as thick as I is, Kentucky, from Athens, Kentucky, Mr. C.J. Kane. And over here beside him, on the keys, keeper of the keys, the Sultan of Sowersville, the Mayor of Stringtown, the Diplomat of McGoffin, the Rogue of Royalton. You may have first seen him when he was sailing the high seas playing piano, or you could have bumped up into him when he was up in New York City stealing hearts and breaking boyfriends, or you might just now be laying eyes on him for the very first time from McGoffin County, Kentucky, Mr. Chase Lewis. And over here beside him, on the electric bass. Born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where they called him the Man of Steel. He spent his childhood in Milton, West Virginia, where they knew him as the Milton Minstrel. He spent a little time in Miami, Florida, where they called him the Miami Kid now. Residing in Ashland, Kentucky, where they know him as the Blue Moon Boy, making a name for himself wherever he goes. He still hasn't left here by the end of his time here. He might know him as trouble, but for right now, in this very moment, you know with Mr. Craig Berletti. Back here behind me. With the funky beats and the Colgate smile and the exceptional hat. Keeper of the rhythm, steady as a clock. Doing a little thing called the hillbilly rock. He smells so good it'll kill you, so we call him John Wayne Macy. The master of pheromonies. The gem of the Jewel City, though he no longer resides there in Huntington, West Virginia, now residing in Ashland, Kentucky, Mr. Hot Rodney Elkin. Up here with the nastiest things I've ever done on stage. Blow your nose. What kind of showmanship is that? Good night. Do I have a booger? This has been a hell of a leg. I'll tell you, we've had a hell of a year. It's been a lot of uh, really beautiful moments, a lot of really good gigs, and it's like, man, this is so fun. And then, uh, in the middle of all that fun, we just, I don't know, we just used the wrong handrail going down the stairs or touch the wrong doorknob and and it's well it's not been as terribly fun as it has been but i'll let you know i'm feeling much better thank you for asking <clears throat> all the things that are up in my nose the medicine is taking effect and it's coming out my nose so might do a little booger solo later or something anyhow back to the introductions of this band over here to my left on the pedal still, the electric guitar board on the right side of the river, raised on the other side of the river. He likes puppy dogs, craft brews, cheap brews, free brews, your brews, any kind of brews, especially if they are free brews. He likes beekeeping. He loves his youngins. He's pretty partial to the woman that birthed both of his youngins. He likes long walks on the beach, but he cannot stand the long walks to get there all the way from Huntington, West Virginia. Mr. James Bloodbath McGrath Barker. <laughs> Last but certainly not the least of these up here. Over here to my extreme left, on the electric guitar, on the electric baritone, on the fiddle, on the mandolin, on the 
And on anything that you would eat them on at any particular point in time, sometimes two of them at the same time, it's truly remarkable. You're probably not going to see it this evening, but if you keep on coming out to Tyler Children's shows at some point, you might. Jack of all trades, master of most, from Redbush, Kentucky, Professor Jesse Wells. That is the uh, that is the title track off of the latest album. Can I take my hounds to heaven? It's called uh, Can I Take My Hounds to Heaven, which is why they call it the title track. And this is this is also a title track of a different album. What? Down the wind from the paper mill 
I'm out here spitting on the sidewalk, taking in the factory smells. And no, she tends to smoking out the window. In the air of that gas pipe leak. I wonder if she's cringing at the same time, thinking pretty thoughts of me. I was up for hours this morning, pulling traps for a second goodbye. I planned to tan myself a fox hide and hang it on my darling ride. Cause they tell me that it's gonna be a big one in the snow set.
dead man's curve gonna lay him down.
chisel to paper, tattoos on the third. construction on around here. Back home that is, uh, that would be uh, 64. My mom says that when her and dad started dating, they were working on that road. They've been married for 34 years. Yeah. And they're still working on
back there uh, making the chicken sounds, Mr. Charlie Brown Superstar. Woo! I played a lot of shows with a lot of chicken sound makers. And I would have to say that he is my favorite chicken sound maker. No, it's a real it's a real honor to get to play on the road with Brett. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, my first paid gig in Huntington, West Virginia, where I cut my teeth, was opening up for uh, James Rod and Craig's Rock Band. <laughs> and we uh, we were drinking buddies at the V Club for a real long time, and always kind of made a joke that one day we were going to start a band together. And uh, we finally ended up started playing some music together. And uh, our first paid gig as a band was at uh, Charlie Brown Superstar Brett Fuller's uh, dance night on Thursday nights. So uh, it's real full circle. It's, it's, it's a real blessing to get to do this for a living. It's much another to get to do it with your friends. Um, you know, there's some people in some bands that well, they just can't stand the sight of each other and I couldn't imagine doing that, you know? I'd just soon do something else if I was gonna go away from home and shit in other toilets and not my own toilet and sleep in other beds other than my bed and be like, see ya honey, I'm gonna go off and hang out with people I can't stand, you know? Fuck that.
Ребята, Our second gig with Annie, Abby Hamilton. And uh, as she was saying, it's, uh, it's our first gig with S.G. Goodman. I really uh, admire both of them as artists and songwriters and it's a real honor to get to share a stage with them. Um, S.G. S.G. was correct um, in her uh, in her storytelling of me asking if I could do space and time and her telling me uh, that uh, she really would much rather Dolly doing that. But what she left out, which was my favorite part of the message, is she was like, well, I, I really always imagined Dolly Parton doing that, but uh, in the right set of high heels, I, I guess she'd work all, all right too. <laughs> or something to that effect. SG's awesome, man. I'm super, super excited to be doing some shows with her. Um, I remember one of the first, the first song I, I can really remember, like calling, like listening to and, and, and grabbing me was an "Old Time Feeling," and it felt like a, a sermon that I needed to hear. And uh, she's, she has a, she's a very insightful and uh, smart woman, and uh, we'd all do good to listen to her music. What she has to say about things. the gig we were just, it's been hot today yeah. do you agree yeah. well 
I'm glad because if you didn't agree, I'd, I'd think there's something wrong with you. It was friggin' hot. Before the gig, I kept on going back and forth. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna wear my, I'm gonna wear my jacket. The boy's like, I don't know, man. I'm like, no, I'm gonna wear my jacket. And then uh, I came side stage. I was watching SG, and she was up here just fucking rocking in that blazer. And I told the boys, I was like, if SG can wear her blazer, by God, I can wear my jacket. Well, we all see who won that one. <laughs> How's all the resourceful ones up there in the balcony? I'm talking to you.
too strong to be left out in the way of the trying God. sorts you may have heard it you may not have and if you haven't heard it yet then it's it's new to you Great. 
raising up and down my dreams Nothing less than 16 hands I don't want to drag my feet Anything more small than that It ain't worth the feet it takes Number nines Sliding stone boats across the hill Or a stack of stones so high I don't mind to be the rock But my back can't take the haul Mammoth Jackson perch and mares Grazing up and down my dreams Nothing less than 16 hands I don't want to grab my feet Anything more small than that It ain't worth the feet it takes
on fire, baby, you can turn it into sin and smoke, cause this house is mighty cold, I feel like melting off snow away. I'm wearing they're tough enough to go and they will take many roads to reach you honey will you out of the way you can set my house on fire baby you can turn it into cinder smoke cause this house is mighty cold
Thank you very much. It means a whole lot. Woo! I'd like to thank uh, Abby Hamilton and S.G. Goodman one more time for being here. Yeah! I know there's 110 places that they could have been, and this is the one they chose, so thank you very much. We have time for one more here with you, and then, uh, and then that's the end of it right there. That's how that goes. Y'all be good to each other. Take care of each other. Have a good night. Be safe getting home. Thank you. Put me in the ground. 